these videos aren't loading. But I'll go ahead and get started with my first topic. So my first topic is police misconduct right here in the heart of St. Louis, Missouri. I was personally a victim of police brutality incident that happened on the expressway as well as here in the county. Nonetheless, I'm still alive. Everything's still good. Uh, I went ahead and reported the whole entire police department to the citizen oversight board and I uh, submitted my evidence of the officer reaching into my car and illegally snatching my documents out of the car. He can't do that. Okay. If you're a cop, you can't do that. Okay. You may think you can, but you can't. You need a probable or reasonable articulate suspicion. Okay. To reach into my car or my permission, which you have neither. Man. Road pirates. And you know, like, <coughs> really haven't done anything to these people. Vlad Ishkin gets pulled over again or arrested less than a week from previous police encounters. Thugs. 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 We're here to help you. We're not your enemy. Are you serious? While you're dragging me out of the car? I don't know you. You didn't even identify yourself. Well, you did afterwards. Man, this is three days after I get pulled over. And this is three days after I submit a complaint on the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. And their officer, Calcaterro. Badge number 411 or 511 reached into my car and grabbed my documents without my permission or probable articulable any kind of cause, okay? Right after that happens, the city comes out to the county and arrests me for a misdemeanor, allegedly. Criminals on the streets with immunity is what they are out here. Looks like Vlad HQ might be getting targeted by police. Fuck yes, I am. As he goes live during what appears to be another traffic stop, this time leading to his alleged arrest. They they stayed outside my house and waited for me to leave. They knew better not come to my house.